many times do I have to tell you? Don't use that bloody device inside public transit. Oh, oh, uh, my apologies. I was lost in thought for a while. I didn't notice I was vaping. <laughs> You're still wearing that face mask, eh, Miss Watson? Of course I am. I'm not breathing any bit of that vapor. I mean, who in their right mind would even invent such useless thing? Is it to look cool? Does it make you manlier? A family tradition, Miss Watson. Generations of great detectives. We, the Vinsmoke family, harness the natural property of smoking to boost our mental capabilities. Each generation used different methods in stimulating their thinking abilities. From my great-great-grandfather, the Foresight, Sherlock Gaston Vinsmoke, to the great Franz Bloodrance Vinsmoke, all of them were top detectives of their era. Well, not all of them. That caused the public to lose trust to our work as detectives. But I, Sherlock Kleiner Vinsmoke, will reclaim our family's name's reputation. Ah, indeed. You are making quite a buzz now. Being requested in different places. Solving tough cases, one after another. So tell me, what kind of exciting journey are we embarking this time? It's a request from Inspector Dopio, an old friend of mine. He asked me to aid him in a particular case, one that involves the Reinhold family. Oh, you mean the owners of a multi-million enterprise in Europe? Correct. A dead body was found past five in the morning by a newspaper boy in front of the Reinhold enterprise. He was identified as Mr. Carlos Quinn, a former employee of that company. Later details will be discussed by Inspector Dopio as soon as we arrive. I can see from your eyes that you're excited about solving this case. Say, so have you taught a moniker just like your great-grandfather? Actually, that was what I was pondering right before you came. I was thinking of something like a beacon. A beacon that will cast the light of truth upon the darkest days. Something like... The Silver Blaze. Inspector. Uh, been like forever since we last saw each other. I mean, look at you. Making a name for yourself, eh? And already surpassing your father's achievements at a young age. Just marvelous. Um, I would like to introduce my assistant, Miss Herschel Watson. Miss Watson, this is Knight Bridges, Head Inspector, Mr. Dopio Macchiato. Pleased to meet you, Inspector. Oi, the pleasure is mine. Ahem. <clears throat> August 4, yesterday, Mr. Carlos Quint, the former HR head of the Reinhold Enterprise, was seen dead outside the streets of St. Marilyn past 4 in the morning with no fatal injuries whatsoever, except a few minor wounds at the back of the head. From the foxes that you sent me, Inspector, I can deduce that the victim was already dead when he was brought here. And with the lack of major cause of death and the injuries at the back of his head, I'm quite certain that was drowned to death. Clearly, these are signs of torture. Whoever did this was trying to get some information out of him, or possibly something even worse. What? Drowning, eh? Officer Brew. Inspector, the preliminary autopsy reports are in. The major cause of Mr. Quinn's death was indeed drowning. My word! Just from the photos and inquests I've sent, and you figured all that out. Here, this is the only item found in the victim's body. It's a uh, some sort of map. It's rather strange for a guy to bring an old map with him, isn't it? You think the killer left it here on purpose, detective? Indeed. Another thing, Inspector. I assume the CCTVs were an operation during the time the body was placed. Hey, report says it was issued for maintenance for about a couple of hours past midnight. I'm still not certain. But it seems that his body was purposely brought here in front of the establishment for a reason. 
the map was intentionally placed there for us to see. But there are still a lot of possible reasons for this. Black propaganda, revenge, or a deep grudge on the Reinhold Enterprise or its family. I've already arranged a meeting with the CEO of the firm, Sir Leonard Reinhold. It's this evening at their manor. Excuse me, sir. Could you not pollute the air around here? Please have some manners. Oh, Mr. Vinsmoke, this is Count Orlando. He is one of the board members of the Reinhold Enterprise. I'm also a philanthropist and one of my advocacies is the regulation e-cigarette. One of the chemicals present in vaping is formaldehyde. Even fairly low concentrations of formaldehyde can produce rapid onset of nose and throat irritation, causing cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, and wheezing. Higher exposures can cause significant inflammation of the lower respiratory tract. Another is ethylene glycol. Several studies of rodents exposed orally or by inhalation showed ethylene glycol to be phytotoxic. See, I told you so. And who knew what other chemicals are other than artificial flavors in different e-liquids? Well, I guess that's it for now. It's good that he invited us into his manor this evening. Inspector, there's someone I need to see right now. Is it okay for us to wander off for a while? Of course, but don't forget about the meeting with the CEO, Prince Leon, later evening. Off we go then. Hey, hey, hey. Sherlock's Yo. back. What's up? Who's the chick? Guys, I want you to meet Miss Herschel Watson. She's my assistant in this case. Miss Watson, these are my old friends Cedric and... Name's Potts. Most people here call me Redbeard. You know what? Check this out. Ah, your hand? Yeah, sucks right. Well, one day I was walking in the streets when I forgot to switch my vape off. Then the next thing I know, my pants was on fire. So, I switched from manual to automatic and assembled my own vape mod with the help of a friendly vape merchant. But I didn't notice the positive pin was flush the negative rim, yo. So the moment I tried it, boom. Good thing Cedric here studied mechanical prosthetics and made me the coolest robotic arm ever. Why is it that you have codes every time I visit Great London? Anyways, I'll have the usual. Oh, sorry bro. I ran out of your academics. Let me make it up to you with these new e-liquid flavors. Royal Truffle, Cinnamon Smoothie, and a Philippine Adobo. Wait, Adobo? I don't know man, these guys are crazy. Adobo? Are they just making up these e-liquid flavors? And you're even selling this to minors? This has gone out of control. Cedric, you know anything about this map? Hmm, no man, not a clue. Yeah, but I do know someone who does. You sure? Yeah, the guy's an expert in vintage maps and stuffs. Besides, he's old, so he should know. Ah, Officer Brew, glad you're here. Then to Kingsbury Street we go. Are those rushes? Huh? You really won't stop until your lungs couldn't take it, do you? I mean, look at you. You have to stop now. Give me that! I told you that vaping is no different than smoking! Come on, give it back. You know nothing about vape. It's been in the market for a while now, and no one seems to be complaining about it. So it's... <coughs> safe. <coughs> The key! Get the master key! Quickly, through the window. I'll go catch the culprit. You stay here. You only slow us down. Inspector, call for an ambulance. I'll try to cut his path to the main road. Are you sure the culprit headed this way? It's the only path that leads to an
a boat, he must be planning to escape by the docks. But where is he? I think we should stay here and wait for him to show up. There's no need. Wait, what? You mean it's not his escape plan? Darin holds on this boat. Then let's go. We can't waste our time here. The culprit may have taken a different path. No, he took the correct path. He's just late. That's all. What? I don't get it. <sighs> you know what? Leonard Reinhold deserves it. That's just a rightful punishment for him. For being a coward and betraying a comrade in a battle. This boat, his wealth, fame and political power, all of these were inviciously stolen by that man. But the most treacherous thing a man could steal was to steal someone else's beloved. Count Orlando, but why? Sweet revenge, my dear. My father is a great man. He was the fleet admiral during the times of the mutiny. Leonard Reinhold was his right hand man. My father and Lady Fremelda were supposed to be married after the war is over. But during battle, instead of regrouping with our allies, Leonard tricked my father and was led straight into the enemy rebels' camp. There he was tortured and made slave by the rebels. It was then when they were sent to a town outside of France that he made his escape. My Aunt Eunice took him in care of him and eventually they got married. While Leonard, being the fool he is, was still not contented by being the admiral but seeked for more power in the government. My real name is Edward Borson, son of the Fleet Admiral and Great London's 27th Battalion, Edmund Graham Borison. The torture he suffered took a huge toll in his body which made him grow weaker with every passing day. And with his last breath, he told us everything and gave us the map kept by his men who was also tortured and thrown to France. And from that day on, I swear that I will avenge my father's suffering. Your whole life was wasted holding a grudge with the rain holes. And now that he's dead, are you satisfied? Do you feel at peace? Think about the lives that were put to danger just for your revenge. You mean the death of Carlos Quinn? Ha! The guy is a fool. The moment he knew about my identity, he deliberately asked for money. He asked for more and more until finally I had to silence him before he ruins my plan. Right there, I left a clue. The map for Leonard to see. And Lady Fremelda? Do you know the stage she's currently in? It's actually your fault. When I heard that you were going here, I knew I had to change plans and make a diversion. A couple of our photos was all it takes to make her go mad. I had to spare her life for the sake of my father. Unfortunately for you, you have to be silent for good. The suspects in the series of killing related to the Reynold Enterprise are now in cost today. Police services pinned down the door near Marino. How are you feeling? Better, I guess. How long was I unconscious? Well, about a week, actually. A week? What about Count Orlando? Eh? So you know it was him and Director Jin? My men caught them escaping through South Marinov docks. Director Dijina, I guess he's the inside man needed to plot this whole thing. He must be the tall and slender guy that the street here saw. And Count Orlando, I could have caught that bastard if only I was feeling well that time. If only? Do you even know the saying, prevention is better than cure? Dr. Harvey K. Wu, the best in the East. I'm the one who saved you from severe anaphylaxis, the most extreme in life, threatening of the allergic spectrum. You know, young man, it seems that your immune system is allergic to cranberry, and that illiquid you took, not stated from the label Royal Travel, used cranberry as an additive compound. It went directly inside your respiratory system, and even if you didn't get beaten up, sorry, you will eventually pass out from anaphylaxis. You're lucky you didn't end up like one of our patients. The poor boy was just waiting at the bus stop when someone smoked roasted peanut flavored vape beside him. Unfortunately, he was allergic to peanut and is asthmatic. His small lungs couldn't take the direct exposure and is now in a critical state. This is called 
aeroallergens. You see, the e-cigarette or vape, as you youngster call it, has main uncertainties. Like for example, formaldehyde, a health hazard found in smoking tobacco. Cigarette is also found when smoking e-cigarette and it is commonly known to cause cancer. That's the reason it's called health hazard. Another thing is they use what they call safe chemicals in making e-liquids but these are intended for oral intake only and it's very different when used as inhalation. I know your father Eugene Vin Smoke is not that great of a detective like the other Vin Smokes but he did manage to break the chain of nicotine addiction in your family line. You should try to be like him. Be thoughtful of your surroundings and not just yourself. Herschel, wait. If Director Dijin is involved in the killings, Inspector, is Herschel safe? Where is she? You're completely right. If I really want to redeem our reputation as great detectives, then I should be at my best condition. I was only thinking of myself. I never considered what my actions could do to those around me. Now I understand that everything you did, everything you've sacrificed was only to save me from something that I would someday regret. Getting emotional? Are you sure you're just going to leave those here? I mean, I really wanted to keep it as a souvenir because it did save my life. Yeah? Who knew that pocket watch could take a hit from my bullet? Good thing you took it I away I think it's a sign. I signed that you. Quitting vape actually saved my life. I know I know it's kinda corny, but really. Because of my shortcomings, you were put to danger. It's my fault why you have to go chase the culprit alone. Forgive me, Herschel. I knew right from the start that you wanted me to stop vaping because you're scared of the possible effects it could do to my health. But my ego got the better of me. So, from now on, I wouldn't just care for myself, but also care for others. <laughs>